my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Uh, when I was building my skills, I was actually practicing my way into being totally uh, unable to play a solo. Because I was practicing so much, I was practicing alternate picking and sweep picking and all kinds of stuff, scale shapes and the, 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 the best, most golden goal I had was trying to become very good at soloing. And that was impossible for me because I was focused on practicing so much. So every time I was practicing, I was actually also practicing becoming very bad at soloing. And it might not make sense, but it does when you think about what you do when you practice. Because you try something and then you fail. And every time you make a mistake, you try to play a song or a melody or whatever it is, a run. And every time you, you fail, you play the wrong note, you stop, right? So if you try to, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, you know, like that over and over and over again, which is not quite the, the right way of practicing. But I used that method or lack of method for a long time. Um, and, and, and that built in the pattern of trying and failing all the time, like thousands of times. So when I was performing in front of people and I wanted to play something cool and I would make a mistake, in my brain that would say, cut, cut, you made a mistake, do it over again, right? So I simply couldn't play anything with flow because every guitar player makes mistakes, has inaccuracies, does things that are not you know, part of the plan. So what you need to do to break out of that is actually practicing performing. And that is not practicing practicing, <laughs> right? So you actually have to step out, stand up, wear your guitar with a strap, imagine the audience in front of you, put on a jam track, and then play a solo. But it is prohibited to stop. You cannot use the, okay, I, I can stop time, I can stop the track, I can, I can play the solo from the start again, I can play something else. No, what, the only thing you can do is to stay here, right where you are in time. So the track is running in the background, and then you are playing. Let me just give you an example here. Right? Ah, uh, that's, yeah, maybe a little bit. Let me just see if I can just, yeah, there you go. And you're playing a song, right? And then you make a mistake. Oh, right? Have a chance, should have done that. <laughs> now it's all ruined. And my brain says, oh, stop, do something else. That would That is what I would do if I was practicing. So that pattern runs like an automated response when I'm making a mistake. You have to break out of that. And the reason why you should imagine a crowd is because you need to put your body in that state, right? Jam track in the background. Is that a mistake now? Right? And what you need to practice here is, you know, using everything you play. Let's say I'm, uh, I make another mistake. I go, and I have no idea how to end that, but I was just slowing down just, Totally unrhythmical here, right? Just random notes. But because I don't see any of them as a mistake, then, you know, it's, there's no mistake here. And I can continue. I might, you know, start to play something that I... And then I don't know where to go from there because I, I've forgotten the scale shape. I don't know, you know, so let's just... And if, if I stop and think I made a mistake, if I still run that practicing pattern, then it's going to mess up my whole playing. But if I practice saying... Oh, I even hit the wrong note there, right? So... 
right? You can always, you can always say something. You know, if you never, if you never have that, bam, you made a mistake, ah, oh, I made a mistake, ah, oh, I hit the wrong note, oh, I should have been able to hit that run, then your brain in performance mode is, is naturally and automatically going to come up with a logical continuation of what you just played, which makes what you just played a non-mistake. Right? It's the illusion that you made a mistake that's going to make your brain go, ah, oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just have to, whoo, right? But if you're in that p performance mode, you simply play something and then you don't know how to end it or you play. And then you, you should have been able to, you know, the plan said something and you couldn't follow through on your plan. But if you stay present with whatever you play and you use whatever you play, then you can build the ability to always play the right thing because you make anything you play right. And I'm not talking about the jazz advice where, you know, somebody says you can just, every time you, 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 you make a mistake and play the wrong note, you just use that and pretend that you didn't make a mistake. This is not about pretending that you didn't make a mistake. This is about playing. So if you play something that you weren't counting on playing, then you make your brain associate freely from where to go from that. I hope that makes sense. So, it, and it really isn't a mistake then, because a mistake is only, you have to stop and say, oh, that was a mistake in order for that to be a mistake. Just because you didn't plan on it doesn't mean it's a mistake. Right? It's only in your mind. So when you play something, when you practice and you stop, 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 you know, try, stop, try, stop, try, fail a thousand times, you have to equally practice this exercise. Put on a jam track, start playing, and don't make mistakes. And mistakes are not made by not playing what you thought you would play. Mistakes are made by not continuing and associating from what you play, right? So uh, let's say you're playing the blues, just to, to give you another final example here. Right? And you want to play something. Right? It's actually impossible for me to show you what I mean exactly because my brain, you know, uses everything as a... Right? Let's say, it's a good example. I can hit a wrong note, right? A note that sounds out, but... Uh, Any, just a, a little example here, right? If you hit a wrong note, that's always, you know, a chromatic note, a chromatic lead up to a note that sounds good. So these notes, in the case of A blues here, are wrong. But I can hit any one of them. And if you, fail or what could I say if you hit a note that doesn't sound right and you're and you're in the performance mode your brain is instantly going to use that note to play something that makes sense there's no mistakes there really isn't and I'm this is not like hyperbole, it really is, there are no mistakes because you make the mistakes by, by stopping and say, oh, I, I had a plan not to hit that note and then I hit it anyway and now that is a mistake in my definition. If you can take this exercise and continue, continue, anything you play, continue, use it, continue without stopping and failing, without releasing the hormones of failure in your brain and body, then you can, you can actually learn how to just continue and use whatever comes out of you and you won't ever make mistakes, which gives you a, a huge feeling of confidence that whatever you play, you can use it. And, and so it becomes so much more fun to, 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 to improvise. Um, so do it, put on a jam track, and then have that single uh, rule of not stopping, not push through that feeling of, oh, shouldn't I play that? Oh, shouldn't I play that? Push through it and use what you played, right? So if I say a wrong sentence, a wrong word, wrong quote unquote, then I just use that and talk from that. You know, explain from that when I'm talking, it's the same thing that happens here. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.